Hey guys, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pompons. I am Shantae, the mother of the three beautiful Pompon sisters. In this tutorial, I have my oldest daughter, Kalia, here. I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve her defined twist outs during the summer. And we're going to go in detail about the products that I use in her hair maintenance and routine. Let's get into it. Now, of course, before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my return subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So we are a mother-daughter hair channel talking about our hair care, our hair maintenance, hair routine, hair products, literally anything related to our natural hair care. And we do a little bit of something else in between. But for this video, we're going to be talking about Kalia's type 3C4A curls. So Kalia has these nice, gorgeous, long tresses, and it can come with a lot of maintenance trying to keep her hair moisturized and looking shiny and healthy. Um, but of course, health comes before all else. And if you achieve health, everything else will really just fall in line. So I'm going in with my first products, the Pretty Strands Leave-In Conditioner. And this is a very lightweight mist leave-in conditioner and i like to use a lightweight leave-in because i know i'm going in with a very heavy cream and that's going to be the Mayel uh twisting sou souffle and this is a nice thick twisting cream it gives her hair definition already so that's how i know if the cream is heavy enough to help her achieve a defined twist out or braid out now i've used this product in the past but it's been a while since i've picked it up and did a twist out so i decided to use it again and and it smells so good. It's a pomegranate and honey line. The entire collection is for type four coily curly hair. And I love it because it definitely helps tame some of that frizz that Kalia experiences with her twist outs and braid outs. So I do a rope twist for my method of twist out and once i work my way down the shaft of her hair towards the ends i make sure to pick up a comb every now and again just to make sure that her hair is not tangled you do not want to twist or braid up tangled hair it can definitely hurt the definition in the twist out once you take these twists out and once i make my way to the end i just kind of swirl it around my finger to kind of give it that nice cue swirl that s curl i guess at the end and this is going to shrink up another tip that i love to give my people about the twist outs that i do on kalia is to work in small sections as you can see her hair is already in small sections and that's because when i did her wash using the soap box tea tree shampoo and conditioner I made sure to detangle her hair in these small sections so when we get to the twist out all I'm really doing is just applying those products and retwisting that same additional part now here I'm just showing slowing it down so that you can see the difference between the product and the no product as you can see the twist without the product is very full and fluffy while the one with the product looks more defined and sleek so that's exactly what you want to see in the difference with the product that you use so once i've applied everything this is what she's looking like and now i'm going in with the black sea baby hair grow and glow oil i have been using this oil for the past month for myself and my girls and i have been in love with it it definitely helps with retaining that moisture adding shine to her hair and that's exactly what she needs so all i'm doing here is just massaging it into her scalp and whatever is excessive because i do use a lot i just work it down the shafts so here she is maybe two days later because we did have a busy day the next day and sometimes i like to make sure these twists are completely dry so i will wait a day or two before before I take them out I'm going in with the pretty strands hair oil this time to take the twist out and this is just going to add some shine um, her hair isn't dry I know it can appear that way because it's frizzy and I also understand that a lot of people equate frizz to being dry and that's not always the case she has naturally frizzy curls so definitely around the roots and the base of her hair it can appear that her hair is dry but it is not so sometimes just adding a quick refresher spray or just coating it with a nice thin layer of oil can help her bring back that lust that we love to see in our hair 
Now let's talk about my methods on her takedown. So once I've kind of added that oil back in, just to add that shine, I just take out the twist trying not to separate the two strands um, anymore from unraveling that twist. And we're gonna do that later because I want y'all to see the difference between that added volume, which we love volume on this channel versus definition. So once I've taken out all the twists and as you can see, I haven't started fluffing yet, I'm then gonna go in and start just fluffing a few pieces because I still like to have that hidden definition within that volume and I try not to tamper with the ends because the ends is where I want to see the most definition but for Kalia she usually experiences most of her definition down the shaft of her hair now I'm going in with a pick comb and this is just to fluff her roots a little bit more which her roots were nice and thick you could not even see the parts that I created doing the twist out but this just helps with making sure everything is hidden fluffy and she has this nice volume at the roots I'm then just laying down her edges going in with my favorite edge control by edge effect it's the magic collection and I'm using their edge brush as well to smooth that product in to lay it all down and I add a headband because Kalia loves headbands now she is a child so for twist out sometimes her hair falls in her face she's a very active child so I like to add the headband to kind of help create this barrier around her face where her hair isn't all falling forward so this is a close-up of all of her definition and as you can see everything looks healthy and moisturized other than a few pieces that are frizzy but that is not bothersome to us and this is how we achieve her look thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial we greatly appreciate having you guys don't forget to check out our other hair tutorials on Kalia's hair maintenance and routine. We will see y'all on another one.